There we go. So as I mentioned, we recently arrived back from an exhibition over in Germany, and it's part of the reason we wanted to put this on today, um, to share with you some of our ideas and some of our thoughts around this. Um, the response that we got from everything that we had done was, was pretty astounding. We were extremely happy with it. We worked with one of our partners. We had some um, nice applications on show in terms of online, in terms of personalization and, and sort of e-commerce solutions as well. And the mem members of the public just loved it. It was uh, a very good example and um, a very good example and very good application of, of what software can do for the print world these days and, and how it can really help. Um, and that's some of the things that I'd like to share today, some of those uniques around that. We really feel that this came from a few points. Um, now the world of technology is massively changing and due to this, as are clients' requirements, now, for us personally, as a software company, our core market is the printer, as I'm sure most of you out there are, um, or, or work with printers, packaging companies, print management as well. And as we know your marketplace, you need to accommodate, you need to be able to offer out the newest, the greatest tools to keep up with the demand of your users. It's simply the way that the world's going. A lot of this comes around from personalization. Um, everyone wants to add their image, their name, their logo onto products, that whole design your own mentality. Part of what we were showing over at Interpack um, was to do with that side of things. I mean, it immediately raises profits, it provides something unique to the user as well. Another key point is simplicity. So along with demand, people require simplicity. Now, although the technology is changing, although the user ability is changing, people still need stuff that is uh, quite simply very, very easy to use um, and easy to do online. Bear me two seconds, sorry. It's rearranging the office. So as I mentioned, simplicity was another key factor and part of our um, Part of our show over at this uh, exhibition was to do with that. And often we deal with the complexities. We deal with um, being able to show and portray sort of complex design and, and things like that online. It really wasn't to do with that at, at this particular show. And we found more and more that people just want something which is easy to use online, easy to evaluate, easy to accommodate as well. So the key focus for us is, is typically on the UX and UI of anything you do online and, and printers find this as well. The final part was the speed to market. Um, with our supplier over there, it was exactly what we we're doing. We were showing that you could create these packages, create, create these print products and get it to the door within minutes. It's part of what I'll talk about today uh, is that whole sort of Uber, the Amazon experience as well. And we achieved this with what we were showing and I will show you it later on and it simply blew people away when it came to that. So it's quite exciting for us. So who we are, I'm sure most of you know and, and have heard about us by now, but uh, in a nutshell, we are a software developer. We are a web to print company and e-commerce provider. Typically we uh, work and, and focus on personalization, marketing and brand engagement as well, but we cover all ends of the spectrum and, and we'll point you in some of these different directions as well down the line. We were founded in 2010, so we're relatively young on the grand scheme of things. But as a product, as a solution, we've been about for about uh, seven years prior to that as well. Um, founded by a guy called Doug Gibson. He is sort of an industry veteran within print, within packaging. Uh, I worked for Xerox and EFI for many years before starting us up as, as we are today. And in those last seven years, we've grown quite dramatically. Um, we now employ over 40 employees worldwide. We operate out of three main offices, uh, the UK, the European office, and, and also the US manage over 1,500 sites all over the globe, um, South Africa, Australia, obviously America, Canada, and, and a lot of Europe as well. Um, part of that growth as, as a number of employees has come through our digital marketing agency. Um, and I'll talk about that shortly, but we noticed with print, it's, it's very difficult to be able to go and sell these solutions out. It's not just selling print on paper anymore, it's looking at the bigger picture. Um, and that's exactly what we're able to do with our clients now is, is provide that whole strategy from end to end, from the design of the site right the way through to the delivery and, and getting people onto it. 
We've got quite a few partners out there which have been key to our growth. Um, a couple that I'd like to mention is HP. We work very closely with HP Indigo, um, both in the US and over here in Europe um, and Israel as well. And also um, as an OEM, a recent announcement of an OEM partner um, through and focus. Sorry, I've just been handed some, some extra notes there as well. So our relationship with Infocus uh, uh, is very new and we've got a couple of key developments which I'll touch on later on um, and integrations into Switch and things like that which have been quite key for, for some of our clients. So the title of today's webinar is uh, Reinventing How We Interact. Uh, expectations are changing. How do you keep up with that? Often software can, can help you do that. And as I mentioned before, the Amazon and the Uber effects have changed customers' expectations um, when interacting. That's simply the way things are going. And it's once again a question of how do you keep up with this? So why do you need to think of your digital solution? Obviously, we've been preaching this for a number of years now and trying to get people to buy into it. I started a couple of years ago. Um, and people are still scared of it and it's not quite the case anymore people know that they need to get on board how do you achieve this we obviously feel it's essential to future proof your business there's no denying that the fact that more and more orders are getting placed online and will continue to get placed online in the coming years uh, if you cannot provide a nice experience to help accommodate this then it will simply leave you in a difficult situation for the future i i don't, I don't think anyone is denying that i hear it from printers all the time about wanting to uh, remain core and remain true to their business but you can't get away from the fact that people will order online you need to find out a way to do that and to offer that out to your client base so a couple of the key points here uh, is that clients and consumers alike demand speed and accessibility in everything that they do uh, demands to be more personalized more flexible and uh, more reactive are, are obviously increasing um, and obviously budgets and prints becoming so commoditized that uh, budgets and monies are under pressure. So clients need solutions to improve workflow and reduce costs. It's not just about going out there and, and getting more business. It's also about making things more efficient uh, internally as well. So first impression is everything. Um, this is key to what we do. As I mentioned, we focus a lot on the UX and the UI, which in our experience a lot of uh, other suppliers out there don't necessarily deal too well with um, and it's part of the reason that we do a lot of transitions and we win a lot of clients because a lot of our focus is on providing that uh, that first experience uh, is that 90 percent of consumers first react with the brand online these days and that's part of the benefit of our solution is creating something that is memorable um, whether it's b2c or b2b once again in my experience it has to be enjoyable um, it, it is, there's no limitations to what can be achieved and obviously uh, fully optimized on all devices as well. So personalization pays. Uh, the revered uh, Share a Coke campaign. Uh, it blazed the trail on our uh, in creating a standout and emotional engagement with simple label versioning. And they did it very, very simply. Um, but it was key. And as we see there, sales increased by 2.1% and the brand preference by 3% after 10 years of decline. And that's simply by um, mass customization of providing those names to be put onto the bottles, print those out and uh, allow people to find them and pick it up. It's something fun, it's, it's about that brand engagement. After the latest campaign, uh, they customized 2 million one of a kind bottles. Um, and now brands are looking to do that in new and exciting ways. And a user friendly personalization solution will ensure that you can deliver this uh, effectively. Once again, it's creating that link to the customer. Um, so creating new revenue streams, making virtually anything a gift. Um, how more emotive can you get than a gift? So the personalized gifting market has exploded. Uh, even the British brand Marmite, uh, some people out there will know it, some won't. Um, it is a devices, divisive savory spread. Um, I personally cannot stand the thing. A lot of people I know do love it. Um, but simply by being able to put your name on something, they're paying over eight pounds for a product that usually sells two. And we've got quite a good campaign over in the States as well with, uh, with Hershey's that I'll show you the site in a, in a short while as well. And all of a sudden, 
by allowing someone to personalize that product online, um, it increases the value typically by four by four times. Um, once again, those revenue streams are, are so important and it's something which can ex really excel you up in the marketplace. Now, but it doesn't end there. And when we mention web to print, first thing that usually comes to everyone's mind out there is personalization and, and customization. And for most, this may be a simple business card or flyer. Once again, I deal with it all the time when I'm speaking to clients. We don't really get, uh, we're not really interested in, in that side of things, putting a flyer online and personalizing it. So although this can be handled with, with what we do as a solution with relative ease, uh, it isn't relevant to every client and customer. It, is, it also isn't the end of the story. So an effective web to print solution, an e-commerce platform should deliver everything you need to make your business a success online. Improving workflow, making proofing and approval simpler and more accessible, uh, delivering short run solutions that enable all kinds of testing and variable printing options. So bespoke storefronts, segmentation, uh, testing with ease, online design, pre-flighting, pre which we'll get onto shortly as well, uh, creative freedom within brand identity, and a few other points in there as well. It opens up your business to the public um, and allows those orders to obviously come in at, at all ends of the day, which really opens the doors for a lot of this business as well. Now, why are we different? I mean, we're as a business, we're not an off-the-shelf off the solution. Um, we are an award-winning enterprise solution backed by a customer-centric team. Now, there's been lots of talk about the commoditization of, of web to print, um, and it's out there. There's, there's once again, there's no denying or, or getting away from it, which is why we offer so much more than the standard solution. We're considered a solution provider, and web to print is really not a term that I use often or, or stick to at all. Um, we are a solution provider that specializes in, in e-commerce and personalization. Whether it's complex design or simple artwork handling and proofing, we can put those solutions in place. Um, it is made to make your lives easier, make the printer's lives easier, whether that's simple automation um, or complex automation, I guess, in the back end, um, or enabling your platform to go out and sell calendars or, or flyers or wallpapers um, or even packaging these days it's it's now providing you with that platform to do so and there's a lot of key benefits for that as well so as i mentioned before part of the reason for our growth has been um with our digital marketing agency it's a company called net Canby, which were in charge of our own digital marketing um whilst we were developing as a business um, and have been quite close to us for many years. Um, but we looked at the issues. We saw, now there's some funny stats out there as to why web to print doesn't work. Um, and a lot of people don't get involved in it because of those sorts of facts. But part of the reason is not being able to talk about it or, or being able to get the fact that you do it out online or, or know how to sell it. Um, so we've joined forces with a digital marketing agency to ensure that we can offer the whole solution. Um, deliver much more than just a web to print platform. You guys can come to us and say, look, we, we've got an idea. This is what we want to achieve. How do we do that? And we can actually take that now from concept, from the ideas in your heads. We can put that down on a design, put that down on paper, structure that into a working website with personalization tools if, if needed or simple stock items. Um, we can provide the e-commerce backend, but we can also show you how to get it out there and, and get people in front of it and get people to see it. Um, so once again, a couple of the key, key points that the guys here work with and, and we work with our clients very closely on um, is digital marketing strategy as a whole, uh, SEO, paid search and Google AdWords, email marketing, social media and, and that sort of things as well. So I'm going to jump into a little bit about the solution um, and what we've been able to achieve with it and some of the reasons that we feel we set ourselves apart from the other solutions out there. Now, I won't go into too much detail. Um, at the moment, this will just be a high level and there's a couple of key areas that I do just want to focus on to, to show you what I mean when I tell you that we're different. Um, as we all know, web to prints out there, people get involved in it. 
over here in the UK, um, I believe it was last year, I'm sure this stat's gone up now, there's 50% of printers in the UK had some form of web to print system. So what uh, yeah, is gonna enable you to differ yourselves from that? As I mentioned, a lot of the experience that we focus on is in the UX and the UI. Um, that's always been very important to us. So whether it is a demo site, which I'll touch on a couple of the points that we will take you through here, or providing that whole experience directly to that brand, that in-store experience, uh, the B to B to C experience, you have flexibility using Catfish. And the Catfish is the name of our solution. Um, Catfish gives you the ability to create functioning e-commerce websites, but it gives you total control. So you're not limited to a certain uh, rigidity. You're not limited to a certain site design or um, theme or, or anything like that. You actually get the ability to apply your own CSS, to apply your own HTML. And once again, we can take care of those for you, but it allows you to go out and create experiences for the clients. You can have things that are nice and simple, um, just file upload, just, just handling artwork, um, but you can also operate whole experiences with different moving components that allow you to go out and approach new marketplaces. I very quickly just wanna show you where we started from. Um, I won't spend really any time in this because a lot of this focus is on the future of Web2Print. It's on how we can operate that side of things. Um, but we can still take care of the standard parts. And as I'm sure we've all seen it before, we have a PDF editor that enables you to personalize PDFs. Typically, these come in business card format. These come uh, as leaflets, as flyers, as things where branding needs to be maintained quite strictly, but where maybe where certain people can go online and personalize it. So this is sort of where we come from. So we can still handle that, whether it's a business card or direct mail or flyers, which comes up a lot as well. Our solution can handle this, but this is not what we're about so much anymore. It is obviously the core to what we do, but it's looking towards the future. It's looking how you can differentiate yourself and, and make yourselves different. Part of the growth in that area for us was when we first got involved with photo books, um, we developed a product called Mega Edit, uh, which is a HTML5, it's an online editor uh, that enables the end customer, in theory, to design products from scratch. So what we found a lot of people wanted to do within the photo book market was be able to choose from different designs, choose from different templates, maybe drag and drop those in, but maybe have some degree of flexibility about other aspects within that. Whether I want to change the backgrounds, move those images around, I can have that freedom. You'll have to excuse my design. I constantly get ripped about this because I have no skills when it comes to this. However, it gives you a good understanding of the capabilities within this. Now, everything you see can be configured. Uh, it would all be structured and customized towards your client base. Whether you want to apply different effects, this is obviously quite focused on, on the photo book market at the moment. But it gives you that design and it gives you that creative freedom when it comes to making a product. And there's some other really cool aspects within that. I can dynamically change the size of these products. I can see different sorts of previews and, and so on and so forth. But that functionality really allowed us to grow. And it allowed us to, to get it out there. First of all, getting involved more in the B2B side. Uh, so we do a lot with estate agents and real estate but the same principle applies to um, really any B2B format. So instead of what was just typically a B2C sort of photo book editor, we've now split up this editor into two different directions. So we still handle the photo book side, but we can also look down the mega edit pro side, which is more to focus on that B2B environment. So as I mentioned, mega edit pro can be used to create things like brochures, um, be able to view them online, and depending on me and my capabilities, maybe I can make certain changes to this. Whether that's within the text, I've got some rich text options that I can change word by word or, or 
paragraph by paragraph. But I can also go through and have some effect on the actual image. However, a lot of the time you want this to be locked down for the client. So I can actually emulate a user in this scenario. And as you can see, I can no longer move these things around. So the, the way that you can create templates, all of a sudden you don't need to create them offline. You don't need to create them in an InDesign file. You can actually do this extremely quickly by defining the size of your canvas and creating one in the back end of Catfish. And once again, giving me a certain degree of, of freedom when it comes to this. But this continued evolving. Uh, so we introduced, and you'll hear me say that a lot because we do continuously evolve. We, we've got quite an aggressive growth structure. And the reason we've done so well in the last seven years is because of that. We don't sit and wait for a new update. We deploy every couple of weeks. Um, we, we factor things in from a client perspective about what they want to see. And a couple of our, our boss and our CTO actually have a, just their crazy ideas that they want to put into action. Um, and that's why we've got to where we've got to uh, under a lot of stress of, of developers our end, um, but it's allowed us to achieve things that a lot of other businesses out there simply couldn't. So this is part of why I wanted to talk to you guys today about this, because we now do a lot in the packaging space as well. The labels, the packaging, the Flexo, um, obviously it's an up and coming area for all printers. Um, typically, if, if people aren't involved in it, then they're thinking about it or they know that it's up and coming and um, maybe want to look for that sort of area in the future. So this is where we can facilitate that and help do that. And there's no one else that can do this and, and link into the workflows and provide the user experience that we can. And we've introduced a 3D preview. Um, and we did this last year, and it's now a lot of focus of where we're going to take this in the future. And you've probably seen in the news, people are getting excited about being able to see these as, as 3D previews. This was a little slide that we used HP a short while ago for an event over in Israel. Um, is a brand that they put together, which enables me to make certain changes to a product add certain images in, and then be able to see that as a 3D representation. So the level of design and the level of creativity is only enforced by the administrators of, of this certain product. And what we had set up, as I mentioned over at Interpack, was actually this site. And this is set up on iPads. So this was looking for that in-store experience where I can select my product, these were set up in the middle of, of actually the HP stand in, in this environment. I could set up my product. I could take my photo on the stand. I could upload my image. I could say a message and we have some bit of logic behind that. And then I can actually see what that's going to look like as a 3D product. So the same works for labels, the same works for packaging as well. And people went crazy for this. And obviously, as I mentioned before, because of where we came from, we were always quite in the mindset of the complexity is better. People want the freedom and the creative ability in an editor to do what they want. But funnily enough, they don't. And when you're looking at the end user, um, really they want something which is as simple as possible to use and, and to create. Um, and we've done this all over now. And this is part of our now focus on, on brands and suppliers of brands as well. Um, and as I mentioned, brands are going crazy. You're seeing it all the time, starting with the Coke campaign. We have it all over the UK now with people wanting to deliver. And this is part of what Infigo can help you do, can help you achieve, can set up sites for clients, whether that is just a single site, whether user experience is set up to match their requirements and what they want to see. And as we can see, we can have different lighting effects with different embellishments and foilings and embossings and, and things like that as well that people can offer out. We can actually show those as a 3D preview, even if they're birthday cards or Christmas cards, be able to show that as a represented, a represented 3D preview is something which just wasn't achievable before. And this is something which uh, we can now help you do. 
And as I mentioned, if you want, we can take you through these demos in, in a bit more detail. The ones that I'm showing you here, as I said, are, are nice and straightforward, but these products can be set up to show off anything that you want to show off, um, whether they're folding cartons, whether they're showing things like spot UVs, we can help do that and we can either provide the personalization online or we can strip that right back, just keep that to, to simple ordering as well. Maybe you want to change your color so I can drag and drop different colors and, and see once again what that product looks like as a 3D representation. And if you set this up as an in-store experience with these brands, it's uh, no doubt a, a, a very excitable customer you've got at the end of it. This is one of our clients over in the US as well that, that, that just played, um, but the whole structure of this site was custom towards them. So you have that degree of, of flexibility as well. So that gives you a bit of a high level demonstration of our solution and, and really what we try and achieve. Um, as I mentioned to start with, we're considered an enterprise level solution. Although we can handle a lot of that standard sort of simple web to print stuff, and we do that day in, day out, and we're more than happy to only focus on those products with you. Uh, inevitably, there's going to become a time where you're going to want to increase your offering and, and, and really get out there and attack a market in a different way. And it always helps, I feel it always helps our clients know that we're already there. And when they want to take that step and take that plunge, um, that's something which, which we can really help with already. And no doubt we're going to continue to develop and, and push that forward as well. So it brings us on to partnerships. And, and this slide here, which we talk about the, the value added partnerships that deliver more. And it's extremely important. Um, we're aware that as a software company we can't handle everything and there's no software company out there that is ever meant to so whatever you get told by these people that promise the world there's simply no need you should focus on what you're good at and you should bring in the other people which uh, are best better in their areas as well and this is why integration is more and more important choosing the right partners is is imperative to getting that whole solution in place and getting that end-to-end -end workflow as well. And once again, it's something that our partnership within Focus looks to offer out to our clients as well, which I'll, I'll mention in two seconds. But this brings into play MIS providers, CRM providers, uh, pre-flighting, obviously working with, with HP and a few other manufacturers as well. Um, another recent one from a B2C perspective is, is with Trustpilot, uh, which is essentially a a reviewing software uh, that we've embedded into what we do, um, access to data lists, and, and all of this is used to drive efficiency and, and save money. And once again, generally just make your lives easier. And that is, as always, the focus for us as a solutions provider. And this brings us on to, as I mentioned to begin with, the latest um, partnership and, and integration that we've put together. Um, it is our latest integration and we feel it's, it's simply going to be game changing. Um, we've recently announced it as an OEM partnership within Focus, uh, which we are generally very excited about. And there's a couple of key bits of development that is um, left to do from a pit stop perspective. Um, so unfortunately, I can't show you that, but rest assured it is in the pipeline. And this will actually... Uh, sorry, I've just got a phone going in, in my ear. Um, but this will actually... Uh, integrate pit stop directly into the editors so it allows your clients to upload um, pit stop within the solution so it enables the pit stop profiles to be checked against a product that on the front end by a client so once again taking some of those aspects out of um, out of those areas and and putting all the onus back on the client so they can actually mm -hmm. upload their files they can pre-flight their own jobs and they can send that through as well um, to the MIS, to the back end, and, and to the presses. A key one that's already up and running is integration into our switch workflow. Uh, sorry, into in Focus's switch workflow, and this has proved essential for a lot of our clients out there. A casing point for this is what we've set up, or what uh, the guys over at Arizona State University had set up with um, their whole structure. 
um, and it's how to automate those imposition workflows through the HP Smart Stream, um, as well as creating pre-flight workflows as well and, and passing that through. So they've successfully implemented this and improved pretty much all of their processes and, and efficiency. So Switch enabled the print and the imaging lab over at ASU uh, with Kathy Scogland. She's a, a big advocate of what we've managed to set up over there and simply created, create, created extensive flows that link directly to Catfish Sync, uh, which is our automation tool. So this allows for those automists, or this allows for those orders to be automatically sent directly into Switch, without having to manually download or, or touch any of those files. So from a front-end perspective, from a client perspective, placing that order online, personalizing it, doing whatever you need to with it, and then automating that into uh, to the XML and and the, the artwork into a hot folder to then be picked up by Switch. Um, which can then be integrated with the metadata module from, from that standpoint as well. So if anyone wants to talk to Kathy over there at, uh, at ASU about that, then she's more than happy to, to have a discussion. And um, one of the other guys who sets it up actually sent me through a, a couple of examples just, just prior to this webinar today. So just to put it in perspective as to how they've set it up, um, they can be as complex or as simple as you want, but, but we can pass those directly into Switch. And then it really comes down to the only limitation being your imagination. And that simply is the case these days with, with what we're doing as a software business um, and what printers are now doing to, to expand and get out there. I, over here in the UK, we've got printers drawing, uh, dropping off left, right and center. And there's reasons for this. It isn't just happening because print is dying. Um, and there's a great uh, quote here from a, a chap that we know very well called Peter Lancaster uh, from a company called Documobi, uh, where he says print is not dead, nor is it dying. It's simply evolving in more ways and more quickly than the printing industry could ever anticipate. And I think that's definitely true. So if anyone wants to look to future-proof their business uh, and maybe have a chat with us about these solutions and about how it can possibly help, um, then obviously feel free to, to get in touch. We have UK numbers here on the screen. We have US numbers um, and obviously more people which are, are more than happy to, to help and answer any questions that you have. If you type our name in online anywhere, you'll either come up with our website or, or some of the articles um, that we've put in place as well. We'll obviously send out a recording um, of this so you can have a look and, and you can have a browse of that again. Um, but once again, if you have any other questions, then, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. If anyone's got any questions for the moment. As I mentioned, we've got, we've got the email out there, so feel free to get in touch and uh, thanks very much for listening today.